Hello, welcome back to another episode of Kotlin Bytes. My name is Jacob, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about companion objects and objects in general. If you're coming from a Java background, you're probably familiar with this concept of a static field or static method. Kotlin doesn't have this concept. Instead, we have something called objects. To present this, I'm going to walk through two to-dos that I have. So in the first case, I'm going to be applying a static variable to a class. And then secondly, I'm going to create an object that's entirely static. Okay, I already have this class called rectangle. It contains a width and a height. And I'm gonna have a function here that applies the area to a static variable. And so to do this, we need a companion object. There is no static keyword or modifier. So we need to use this companion object. And at first it seems kind of cumbersome that we have to actually add something like this, but it'll make a little bit of sense later on. Okay, let me add a variable called area. When we call this function apply area. So it's actually optional uh, within the object itself. But something that you'll notice is that we can't call area directly on this object because uh, it's actually part of the class itself. It's not part of this instance. So there we go, area. And then I wanna create two instances up here. What you'll notice is that I cannot call area directly off of either of these instances, I can only call it off of the rectangle object. So I'm gonna print this off a couple times, and then I'm going to apply area for rect one, and then apply area for rectangle two. And let's look at the printout. Okay, so it starts off as zero because we uh, set it as zero initially. And then 10 because of two times five, and then 24 because of eight times three. So that's an example of a companion object upon a class. Let me show you an example where it's just simply an object. And you might use an object as a constants object. You could add constants globally, but if you want the constants to be scoped within an object, you would use an object. So instead of a class, you just say object, and then the name of your object, maybe it's constants, and we'll create a variable and also a function. Just like this. I don't have to initialize anything because there's nothing to initialize. It's, it's all static. So constants.name or reverse name. So if we start off, I'm gonna print off, I'm gonna print off constants.name and then I'm going to change it. And then I'm gonna reverse the name, okay. I'm gonna remove that. And there you go. So initially there's nothing here. Let me uh, set so it as none for first. Okay, so it starts off as none, and then I apply Kotlin bytes to the constants static variable. And then I reverse it uh, using this static function. I, it's not really, Kotlin doesn't really call it static so much, but you could think of it as being static if you're coming from a, basically any other language. And yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to objects and companion objects. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for more information. But yeah, that's it. Thanks you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day. See ya.